Today we are back in the villages and behind us is Cracker Barrel. We're gonna go and eat here. We needed to get some groceries and Aldi is just down the road. So we thought, let's go to Cracker Barrel. Let's get some food, let's show it off. We've been here, not this specific one and not one in Florida, but in Missouri, it was a frequent. Really fun inside. Let's go check it out. Here we have it, Cracker Barrel, old country store. And then one thing I do like about Cracker Barrels is they always have these rocking chairs out here that you can actually purchase. Let's see, what's this one? $219 for that one right there. Nice little seating area. Store hours, Sunday through Thursday, 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Friday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Let's see what the inside looks like. Now, one thing they do have is this gift shop. We love the gift shop but we will look at it once we eat. So we're gonna go up and put our name on the list. Hopefully there's not a long wait, but if there is, we'll just see how long of a wait it actually is. And you will come put your name up on the list over here in the corner, right here. And in case you're looking for the restrooms, right where you put your name down to get a seat, right over there under this little um, stoplight are the restrooms. Now over here, they do serve breakfast and lunch all day. So if usually you kind of have to tell them, hey, can I also get a breakfast menu? Because they have both breakfast and lunch menus. They still have a tree up in there too. It looks nice. And we are heading this way. Love all the old like antique stuff on the walls. Um, they also have a fireplace not going right now. Looks like they also have a checkers table out. Looks like we'll be right over here. Oh, right over here. Now, normally they have like a little peg game on it's the like table. And then you yeah. can move the little pegs. And some of the other tables have it. I don't really want to show that, but yeah, some of the tables have it, like that one in the corner does. Oh, right over there. Um, and then this is new too Mobile Pay. Now, I did have to ask for a breakfast menu. There is some breakfast menu. Is that what they said? So let's start with, let's start with this. Here are the drinks. Looks like they've got a glitter globe spritzer. A peach mimosa, ooh, blackberry tea. Yes, returning favorite. I used to get that a lot and I am gonna get it today. If we turn the page, just some more little items, some dessert, peach cobbler. White cheddar cheese bites, ooh. Then here is the breakfast menu. I'm gonna go kind of quick on this because it is a pretty large menu. Then here's this page. Then, then if we open it up, we've got pancakes. And over here, some more. And is there any on the back? No. Well, just shows that on the back of the breakfast one. Now here's the lunch and dinner menu. Now in the past when you ordered something, you used to get biscuits and cornbread. So I'm gonna see if that's still something. These are very large menus. So sorry if it's kind of going fast, but they're very large menus. Here is the first page. So there's some daily deals. Oh, there is their little breakfast section in there. And you can see full menu available upon request. And then this little back side. Oh, they do have half and half. Beer and wine. There's some barrel bites. And if we open it up, got the favorites. They have really good meatloaf here. And it looks like they now do like, you can get three sides or two sides. Those are the difference in those prices. And over here, starting at $9.99. And if you've never been to a Cracker Barrel before, there's, there's a lot, a lot to it. Here's the weekday lunch features, which is available 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. Do you see anything that said gluten-friendly, gluten-sensitive? Neither did I. 
I think I'm going to do breakfast. I do like their breakfast. They do have really good bacon here. Let's see. I used to get... I think they switched their menu since... I've, no, never mind. Like the mama's pancake breakfast or the grandma's sampler. Those are both very good. But I do think they've kind of switched it a little bit. Do you know what you're doing? Breakfast or lunch? I know something else that a lot of people get is the signature fried chicken. They've got a stuffed cheesecake pancake breakfast right here. Wow. So you know what you're doing? I think so. I think I'm going to do the lemon lemon pepper grilled rainbow trout. Right there. Okay. And I'm going to do the cornbread instead of the biscuit. Ooh. And broccoli as a side and fried apples as a side. There we have it. This right here plus two sides. Here's your sides to choose from. They have a lot of sides. You can see that it says served with hand rolled butter biscuits or cornbread. Look at this Cracker Barrel sampler. Meatloaf, chicken and dumplings and sugar cured or country ham. I wanted meatloaf and ham, so maybe I'll do that. That's a huge, huge portion. Three sides, would have to get sweet baby carrots for sure. I do want their bacon though. Their bacon's very good. Here is our blackberry tea. Now it is sweet tea. Let's give it a try. Here we go. Oh, that's very sweet. That is really sweet, but it's very good. I'm gonna drink a lot of those. So they don't allow you to substitute one of the sides for bacon. They said they just don't do that anymore, which their bacon, like I said, is very good. But they also allow you to do one cornbread and one biscuit, which I thought was nice. And then I know they have really good like blackberry jam, so I asked if they still have that, and they do, and they're gonna bring that out first. Here is the cornbread. Oh yeah, there's the blackberry, blackberry jam. She said that they're making fresh biscuits right now, so she'll bring us a basket here shortly. Um, if you've been to Cracker Barrel, are you a biscuit fan or a cornbread fan? Comment I'm, below. Oh, you're a what? I'm a biscuit fan. I prefer the biscuit. Just the gluten. But this is a little bit better. Yeah. And then this is what we've got so far because we forgot the honey because they're not, it's not sweet cornbread. It's just like regular cornbread. So I put some jam on mine. Let's give it a try. That's good with the jam on it though. That's very good. I love looking at all the old antique-ish style items on the walls. All right, here's the sweet baby carrots, the mac and cheese. I thought this was gonna be like a sample size. This is like full portion size. So there's a full thing of meatloaf, chicken and dumplings. And then there's the ham. I'm looking forward to the ham. Then over here, she gave us some biscuits now with some more cornbread. Got the fried apples, the trout, and the mashed potatoes. I don't like a very beige plate, but it's a very beige plate. <laughs> okay. You like a green plate. I do like color. All right, let's dig in. I don't know if I can eat all this. Sweet baby carrot. That is delicious. That's giving cheddars a run for the money. Wow. Those are very, very good. Mac and cheese, also very good. What do you think about the mac and cheese? Try one noodle, it's very good. Try the carrots. I mean, they're very good. Giving cheddars a run for the money on that. Now I'm gonna try to dig into some of this stuff. Let's go with the uh, meatloaf first. Meatloaf, that's very tasty. I'm gonna be like a barbarian here for a moment, but here's the ham. Nice and juicy ham. Chicken and dumplings. Massive fight. Ah. I think all are very good. I think my favorite would be meatloaf. Second favorite would be the ham. The third favorite would be chicken and dumplings. Here is the trout. Oh yeah, that's a really good flavor. The biscuit. I think the biscuit takes the win over the cornbread for sure. Here's the little game I was referring to. <clears throat> I guess this table had three of them. So once they left, the waitress brought us one. There it is. Look at that, your first try and you got, got it. It's like riding a bike. <laughs> If Timber liked any of this meal, we could have easily shared it because it's a ton of food. But you're not a big fan of it, are you? I don't like meatloaf. I don't like chicken and dumplings. Not the biggest fan of it. So I could help you with the size. There you go. But it is a ton of food. And so I'm going to need a box. So they gave us these. These are microwavable. How cool are these to-go boxes? It also has little separators in here. These are nice. We got a couple teas to go. 
All right, here's the bill. So for all that food, it is $41.15 without the tip. So kind of pricey, but I did order a very expensive item, which left over. So it's two meals in one. Now we are heading back out to the main area to where we can kind of look around the little gift shop because there's a lot in here. And then you can mobile pay or you can pay up here up front. All right, let's look around. I'm going to try to make it kind of quick because there's a lot in here. Oh, yeah, those were good. Peach rings. They have like the old school candy. And so does over there. Look at these gummy bacon, gummy hot dogs. Gummy Lunchable. We have some cast iron over here. Different cups. They always used to have a parrot in here that you could say something that would repeat what you said. Oh, look at the magnetic dartboard. Always the... What? That's cool. I love Jeopardy. dog. Always the most unique gifts in here. Let's see. Do they have the parrot over here? Checkers. I was wondering. Oh, yeah, yeah. Front, but it's They're big checkers. Shows. I own one of those, actually. A lot going on in here. It used to be right here, the, the parrot. I don't know. The parrot has since been retired, maybe? Yeah, I don't, I don't see the parrot. Oh, you see the... There we go. Talking parrot. It's still here. Looks yeah, like they don't do... Mm-hmm. Looks like they don't do any of the oh, display talking parrots anymore. Then over here is kind of like candles, some shirts. They real they have a really good Christmas section during Christmas time. There's a light bright down there. Cards. I'll kind of like at the little lodge area. They have some good stuff in here. Check this out: the Last Supper puzzle. Jesus loves me. I always used to get these, all these different flavors. Thin sticks. Now if we keep going this way. They do have CDs in here. Some essential oils it looks like. Some shirts. Look at Mario shirt. It is chilly in here. Oh, Florida? Nice. I think that's a pretty good... Oh, look at this. It's got all the cities. I think that's a pretty good overview of what it looks like in here. And also, since the line's long, I'm going to choose to scan to pay check right here. All right, now back outside. All right, that was our trip out to Cracker Barrel. That was our first Cracker Barrel here in Florida. Mm -hmm. It was good. Yeah, I liked it. I'm stuffed. I have a whole nother meal. So although it was a little pricey, I mean, I literally have a full meal with a to-go box that you can just microwave. And to-go drinks. And to-go drinks. Our waitress was phenomenal. She was working like eight or nine tables going all over the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was great. And then the little scan the bill to pay actually worked out pretty good. I had to connect to their Wi-Fi and then I just scanned the QR code. It brought up my receipt and then hit pay and you could do your card, Apple Pay, whatever, and then you're good to go. The weird thing is there's no one there to like check. Yeah, I can't, they're like held accountable. Yeah, so I was just kind of like holding up my phone like <laughs> I paid if anybody wants to check and then we left. Mm -hmm. But it was really good. Yeah, their store is cool. Yeah. It's a little general store. Oh yeah, they've got a lot of good stuff in there. Mm -hmm. So um, that was our trip out to Cracker Barrel. With that being said, that does it for today. Thanks for watching.